Hello, my name is Tevin Gray, and today we are back with another Prior to the Pros. Today's episode of Prior to the Pros will be on none other than Richard Sherman, pretty much the guy that everybody loves to hate. But I wanted to do Richard Sherman because his journey is pretty much like no other uh, journey uh, in football. So I wanted to chronicle his life before he uh, was drafted because it's a very, very interesting story. And I think that the viewers, um, whoever watches this will uh, actually, you know, find it pretty interesting. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Richard Sherman was born March 30th, 1988 in Compton, California. In his childhood, of course he played football, but once he got to high school is really where his career of football actually took off. So he played both football in high school as well as ran track like many other athletes that I chronicle um, on this channel. So, like I said, while at Dominguez High School, he played both football and ran track. And while on the football field, he played both cornerback and wide receiver. But primarily, he played wide receiver. So, he was an absolute stud on the field while playing um, the wide receiver position. So, as a senior at Dominguez High School, he had 28 receptions. 859 receiving yards and he had 13 TDs. So Richard Sherman was no slouch when it came to the receiver position, at least in the high school game. He was an absolute stud on the field. And also during this senior season, he ran back three punts uh, and took them back to the house. And he also ended up uh, with 1,030 all-purpose yards for that season. Now, on the track side of things, he was no slouch as well. He was also a really good track and field athlete. Richard Sherman was actually named an All-American in track and field after winning the California State Triple Jump title with a mark of 15.44. So, he was an absolute stud both on the football field and uh, as a track and field athlete. After his senior season, Richard Sherman was, you know, feeling on top of the world as any high school senior that had a great season would. But for some reason, he was only rated as a three-star prospect by both scout and by rivals. So I guess everybody else didn't see in him what he seen in himself. But Richard Sherman wasn't only a stud on the football field, he was also a brainiac in the classroom. So he was able to obtain a full ride scholarship to Stanford University, which he took. And he did pretty well at Stanford, but this is where his journey really begins. Way back in 2006, coming in primarily as a wide receiver at Stanford, Richard Sherman was poised to do everything that he wanted to do on and off the field. But this just did not work out for him the way that he wanted it to. So in his freshman year at Stanford, he played in all 12 games, had a total of 581 yards, and caught 34 balls. He also had three TDs. So his freshman year actually shaped up to be a decent freshman year. You know, it wasn't anything spectacular, but it was definitely something that Richard Sherman felt that he can build on. So... In his sophomore season, he came back with the attitude that he was going to do way better than he did his freshman season. And by having that attitude, he was actually able to increase his totals a bit more. In his sophomore season, instead of playing in all 12 games, he actually only played in 11 games. But he was able to increase his receptions by five receptions. So in his freshman season, like we said, he had 34 receptions. He had now 39 receptions at the end of the season, and he was also able to increase his uh, TD totals as well. As opposed to having three in his freshman season, he actually had four in his sophomore season. So it was an increase, but it definitely wasn't the increase that Richard Sherman was looking for. And it sort of left Richard Sherman and the coaching staff at Stanford in the position to think that maybe Richard Sherman is just sort of, I don't know, mediocre at the receiver position. But again, he trudged on because Richard Sherman is Richard Sherman's biggest supporter, as he should be. Like anybody else, you should believe in yourself more than others believe in you. 
so he kept at it at the receiver position. But in his junior year, it was much of the same. And actually, quite frankly, it was a bit worse than it was in the two prior seasons. So in this junior season, playing in five games total, he only had eight receptions. He had eight receptions with 108 yards. So it wasn't anything great. But although this season ended shortly, without much, you know, production, Richard Sherman would actually have a chance to redeem himself. He just didn't know it at that point in his junior season. So in 2009, as a senior, Richard Sherman finally got his shot to redeem himself. Because of team need and weakness at the DB position, Richard Sherman finally made the switch from receiver to cornerback. And this is where his journey would change forever. This would lead Richard Sherman from not really being noticed at all at the receiver position to at least being noticed at the cornerback position. And at least being noticed was enough to actually get him to where he is today. So in his first season as a cornerback, it seemed to be a very, very smooth transition. Richard Sherman seemed to fit well into the Cardinals defense and play that corner position as well as anybody had for the last couple of years. In this first year, he actually had a total of 62 tackles, 62, and he had two interceptions and also was able to bring one of the interceptions back to the house. So for his first year in college football as a corner, it was a very, very well year for Richard Sherman. And the year after that, his final season as a senior at the cornerback position, he did extremely well. He actually had more solo tackles than he did last year in his first season as cornerback. But his totals for tackles was down a bit. So in his first season as quarterback, his total tackles was at 62. And in this season, it was only at 50. But again, like I said, his solo tackles was a lot higher than it was the year previous. So Richard Sherman actually did very, very well in this, um, this final season at corner. And I forgot to mention, although he didn't take any of the interceptions back to the house, he actually doubled his INTs. So like I said, man, it was just a progression, progression, progression for Richard Sherman. And on top of that, it only started happening for him in his senior year of college because really and truly for the first three years as much as he loved the receiver position it just seemed as though it was not for him and that's absolutely fine so this is where i'm going to wrap it up guys once again i'd like to thank everybody that watches the video and shares the video that is absolutely awesome and i thank you from the bottom of my heart um, I'd also like to uh, ask that, of course, you watch these videos, um, you know, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel because that would help me out a ton. And don't forget to comment. That's also something that I look forward to seeing uh, more often. And don't you ever forget to follow your dreams, follow through in everything that you want to do because that is important. And of course, tune into the video next week. There will be many more just like this. So if you like it, keep tuning in. Um, once again, I want to thank you guys and uh, I'm out. Peace.